let's be honest, foldable smartphones are the future, and the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 is one of the most exciting examples of that future, with a design that's both unique and practical. But is the phone flipping cool, or is it flipping lame? I'm C Tech Dude, and this is the Galaxy Z Flip 3 review in 2023. Let's go. The design of the Z Flip 3 is a unique clamshell that folds in half, which is handy for when you want to make your phone as compact as possible. Plus, it's a great way to tell people I'm so cool, my phone can even fold in half. There's a fingerprint sensor slash power button on the right and volume keys above that. My only complaint is that the fingerprint sensor isn't the most convenient place. It should be right here, but there's obviously a hinge there. But once you get used to the placement of it, it works really quickly. And I love the fingerprint sensor slash power button combo rather than the end display fingerprint sensor personally. Also, when the phone is open, it's hard to reach the top of the display with one hand. So this will be a two handed phone for most people. The 6.7 inch dynamic AMOLED display is impressive though, with sharp colors and deep blacks. It's so good that you might forget that you're not looking at a traditional smartphone. The only complaint I have is when looking off access, you can see the crease in the middle, but it's not a big deal when you get used to it. And you can also feel it, but again, not a big deal and you will get used to it. Now the screen does run at 120 Hertz. So everything feels fast and silky smooth. Content just looks amazing on the phone. And if you need it, you can also stand this phone up to watch content. So it's like having a kickstand built into the phone. Pretty cool. You also get a 1.9 inch itty bitty display on the front. Now this display is used to look at the time, look at different widgets that you want to set up on here, or look at your notifications. And you can also do some quick toggling, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, all that good stuff from this menu. And one of my favorite features you can do with this phone is double click the power button when you're closed and use the main camera as the selfie shooter for videos or pictures. It's a really neat feature and I've really enjoyed using it. And as a phone that, you know, makes calls and stuff, it works really well. And I forgot how much I miss opening a phone to answer a call and then hanging it up by just closing the phone. Pretty sweet. Speakers on the phone sound great and you get a stereo speaker setup thanks to the earpiece doubling as a speaker, as well as a speaker on the bottom next to the USB-C port. You know I'm humble. I mumble, but still I do not stumble. Step up to me, you'll crumble. Try to tackle me, you'll fumble. I float like a butterfly, I'll sting you like a bubble. B, look at me as I rise above this rubble. And the phone is powered by a Snapdragon AAA processor and eight gigs of RAM on board, and it still holds up very well in 2023. You also get either 128 gigs or 256 gigs of onboard storage, and unfortunately no SD card slot is found on this phone. Now battery life is pretty bad. It's just 3,300 milliamp hours if you're a heavy user, you will need to top your phone off midday. I'm sure if you turn off the 120 hertz screen or the always on display, you can probably get better battery results. But for me, I really like those features and I don't think I should have to sacrifice features for more battery life. But thankfully the phone charges quickly and it also has wireless charging built in. It's pretty sweet. The cameras on the Galaxy Z Flip 3 are impressive with a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. You can take some seriously cool photos and videos with this phone thanks to the unique design like the ability to stand it on a table or use the main camera as a selfie shooter like I mentioned earlier. This is a video test of the main camera while the phone is closed. And it's really cool to be able to use the main camera for selfie videos like I'm doing right now. Just be careful not to cover the microphone with your hand when you're holding it like this because that is a thing you can do and it messes up your audio. The software on the device is clean and intuitive with Samsung's One UI overlay on top of Android 13. The Samsung features are non-intrusive and work well. And I love the fact that you can even set the Google feed on your launcher rather than the Samsung feed. You will get the next version of Android thanks to Samsung's promised four years of Android updates, but Android 14 will be the last release for this device, unfortunately. And one thing I also want to talk about is durability. I bought this phone used and it has a small imperfection on the hinge area right there. And when looking at the subreddit for this phone, it seems to be a pretty common issue. Also, the factory screen protector on my unit was removed when I bought it, and that can reduce the screen protection. And getting quality aftermarket replacements for the screen protector seems to be pretty difficult. Something to be mindful of if you're buying this phone secondhand. Overall, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 is a fantastic device with mediocre battery life. It's innovative, practical, and just plain cool. If you're in the market for a new phone and want to stand out from the crowd, then definitely consider this as your next phone. Just be prepared for all the attention that comes with having a foldable phone. Thanks for watching, everyone. You just got CE Tech. See you next time. Have a great day.